Yeah, you're surely not off to a good start on my three picks. As a matter of fact, the coin has the upper leg on me. Thanks to the Colorado-Colorado State game, which I thought the Rams as an underdog would cover, they didn't. As a matter of fact, Colorado State's offense failed to show up. And I know Colorado probably had something to do with that. Well, the coin loved the Buffaloes. And you can see that the coin's 2-1. I'm 1-2. By the way, the other two games were both winners on LSU, easily covering the spread against BYU. But the coin in yours truly lost on Florida State, Alabama, as I bet the total. I bet that there would be more than 49.5 points. Yeah, I wasn't even close on that. It ended up being 24-7, obviously a 31-point total. So both the coin and I lost on that game. Again, I'm down by one game. But the great thing about my three picks is that every week you have a chance to redeem yourself. All right, we're ready for my three picks for this week. A reminder, after my picks, if this coin lands on heads, it likes the favorite. If it lands on tails, it's going with the underdog. We're going to begin with what might have been the game of the week in college football, if not for Oklahoma and Ohio State. We're talking about the Battle of the Tigers, Auburn and Clemson, two very good teams. And even though it's early in the year, you can bet that college football playoff ramifications will be on the line because the winner will have a big W on their resume. Clemson, yeah, they're the national champions, but now you'd have to say they're the ACC favorites, okay, because of the injury to DeAndre Francois of Florida State, that quarterback who's out for the year. So that does change the complexion somewhat in the Atlantic Coast Conference. You have a feeling that things could be falling right in place for Clemson. Remember, they get this game at home against Auburn. For Auburn, can Jared Stidham, their new quarterback, can he emerge on the road? It's going to be a very rocky environment, prime time, against a very good Clemson defensive line. I think Clemson has the edge in this one on defense, and of course, that home field advantage. And we know that Dabo Sweeney has been one of the best coaches in recent years on the college football circuit. So give me Clemson minus the four and a half. And the coin, it likes Clemson as well. Well, let's go to Austin. Yes, Austin, Texas, home of the Longhorns, a team that's lost more than they've won in recent years. And Tom Herman, yeah, uh, he's so far, even though it's just been one game, yeah, they're not faring any better than what they have the last three years, which was under Charlie Strong, of course. Last week, the Longhorns got stunned by giving up more than half a hundred to Maryland. I think Texas covers this week the minus 26 and a half. You might be saying, you crazy? Why? I think for one, you know, I think Texas having that players-only meeting and just probably sick and tired of listening to how bad of a football team they are. I think they're ready to get back on the field, and they're going against a San Jose State team that's one of the worst in the country. I'll repeat that. They're one of the worst teams in the country is San Jose State. They're on a much lower level in Texas. The Longhorns playing at home and looking for redemption, trying to get that first win for Tom Herman. I think they get it and get it in a big way. Texas' offense is not the problem right now, so I think Texas scores a bunch of points. And again, San Jose State is bad. Give me Texas minus 26 and a half. And the coin is going to go with San Jose State. And finally, Stanford and USC. The lines moved just a little bit. It was a five and a half in favor of the Trojans to six. Stanford already has two games under their belt. I think that'll help the Cardinal. The game is at Los Angeles. But, you know, last week's opener for USC was in Los Angeles. And they struggled and struggled big time against Western Michigan. You can say that USC got caught looking ahead to Stanford. But from what I saw, the USC defense did not impress me much. And, you know, Sam Darnold in the first half, he didn't look very impressive either. I think Stanford's defense will give USC fits. In fact, I wouldn't even be surprised if Stanford pulled off the upset. Give me Stanford plus the six points. I don't know if Stanford will win, but I think that they will put together one hell of an effort and make it close. So Stanford plus the six points and the coin. It lands on tail, so it's going to go with Stanford as well. So there you have it. One disagreement between the coin and yours truly. That was, of course, San Jose State against Texas. Those were my picks. What were yours? Keep in mind that we will be back next week at this time for another installment of My Three Picks. So long, everybody.